Hi, hey, I'm Willie, and Creality chose me to be one of their experience officers. So they sent me over this 1.6 watt laser module for the Ender 3. We're going to crack it open, take a look, see how it goes. Got some wood. Looks like uh, we have instruction guide. Power adapter. Power cable. Creality Falcon control box. like some zip ties, a thumb drive, and a microfiber, USB to USB type C, some nice stylish eye protection, the mounting bracket, mm. seems to be heavy and it's got powder coating on it. And then, we have the Creality Laser Module. Alright, so now we have our Ender 3 set up in front of us. And the first step is to disconnect the existing limit switches and motors for the X and Y axis. Okay, now that we've disconnected our X and Y access, we're going to find the clips labeled X and Y down here. So, we can replace them. The one that came from the motor. The light switch. That's the Y. And we'll take our X. So here is the X labeled for the motor. We have this four pin connector. Five. Nope, six. Six pins. <coughs> and then our X cable comes over here. If you have big fingers like me, it might be beneficial to remove this covering. But it's not entirely necessary. And that just leaves us with this last cable for the laser module itself. So we'll turn this back around. It might be wise to use the included zip ties to 
do a little bit of cable management, but we'll get there later. Um, just the height of the X gantry up. Make sure it's flush. Back in. There we go. And then tighten it down. Which hopefully this works a little bit better. Give you a little bit of play in my pantry. But they have included a little Allen key so we could pop it right in there and tighten it down. There we go. Keep it tight. And then we take our uh, one point six watt laser module, and I guess this also has another thumb screw. So we're gonna get this up a little bit higher. There's a slot on the back, and it looks like this feeds into you. and tighten it down. Okay, so now we have the X and Y motors hooked up, and we have the mounting bracket in place and the laser module mounted. So the last thing we have to do is find the Z labeled uh, uh, plug and plug it here into the laser module. And that should be all of our setup here. There we go. I just leave. All that's left now is to power up the control box. Power goes in. And then put the switch on the side. And it looks like you're currently functional. Okay, now that we've got our machine set up, it's time to hop into Lightburn and set that up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to the laser window and click devices. Now, if you can see my screen, I already have an Ender 3 set up, and that's pretty easy to do. Just click create manually, choose GRBL, gerbil, and then serial USB, is how we're going to connect to the computer. Um, then you choose what you'd like to call it. I will do this uh, Ender 3 2. Um, and we choose uh, the dimensions of our work area, which for an Ender 3 is 220 on the X and 220 on the Y. And then we have a front left home position. Next. And then we click Finish. So now it'll come up on the list of your devices. Um, 
So then you're going to select that. And there we go. Select the, the, the profile from the drop down menu on your devices. Uh, and then next thing you want to do is you want to go to device settings, settings, and choose millimeter slash minute because um, that's better for the diode. And then you're all set up. So the next thing you got to do is plug in our USB to go directly to the Falcon. Now, before we do that, we'll push the power button. Turn on the laser, and it will set up. Okay, so now that we have it set up and plugged in, we choose the correct uh, COM port for your device. And then the machine auto-homed. So now we're just about ready to cut. So first thing, we should take our home and find, I just have a PEI flex sheet. So I'm gonna flip it over to the steel side and then draw a square. And then let's call this okay. So let's just see if this is working. Say frame. Okay. And the circle. It appears that the device is working and speaking to the computer. So let's get this set up with some material. Okay, so now that we have the light burn configured, uh, we have the steel plate, uh, and I grabbed this piece of wood as a sample. So the first thing we'll do is set the focus. We'll just kind of bring the laser down closer to the workpiece and then use the thumb screw knob on the side to drop it down. Oh. There's a laser thickening. Remember to flip down the little handle on the side and remove your plastic protective layer. Okay. So once again, you use your thumb screw to slide up and down and slide your little thickness gauge into place till it sets the depth. and then twist that back up. So now we should be ready to engrave. So let's drag in an image uh, for this test. I'm gonna pull in this logo. Scale that down. Right there um, and the uh, parameters that Creality recommends is 1500 for speed and 81 for power. So right now I have it marked for output and to show on the double zero layer. So I'm just going to frame it out. I'm just going to adjust the position so I'm a little bit happier with this. Okay. 
Alright. I guess there's no time like the present. Um, let's start the grief. Let's see how it goes. Alright. Well, it's been a few days that I've got to test the Creality 1.6 watt laser module, and overall I'm really happy with it. It's a great beginner device, simplistic and easy to assemble, install, and use. The included instruction manual was very clear, the video online super helpful. With this device, I was able to get some good engravings with little effort. It's a wonderful entry-level tool for those who already have a Creality Ender 3 printer or one of the other Creality models. It's able to engrave on a variety of useful kind of everyday items. Uh, the birch plywood, leather, and um, even graham crackers had some great results. I would highly recommend it if you're looking to dip your toe in the water of laser engraving and want to get started with the beginner friendly unit. I think this is definitely looking forward to making some interesting projects with it in the future.